So in this video, I want to talk about the power of time lapses in architectural photography. Time lapses are such a powerful photographic technique and an urban environment is a perfect opportunity to utilize them. The real magic of time lapses is that we're capturing the element of time itself. It really gets you thinking a little bit differently about the final image. It's gonna get you thinking outside of the box and thinking wherever you are, whatever environment you find yourself in, what would this look like over a long enough period of time to see time itself move throughout your frame? It's a really powerful concept. So right now I'm downtown at the World Trade Center. It's such a beautiful scene and we have the iconic Freedom Tower in front of me. So what we're looking for when we set up a time lapse, the reason why we would use or consider a time lapse at all is if we want to capture something occurring over a period of time. The beautiful thing about the Freedom Tower is that it's a very reflective surface. It's gonna allow me to capture a composition that's gonna show the concept of time and those clouds moving in two different directions. So we have a composition we have the weather that's starting to break up already. I want to be prepared for it when it does. So let's get started. So the clouds just started to part here. I'm seeing blue skies. I'm seeing puffy white clouds. And I think this is going to be a perfect opportunity to start my time lapse. So I have my tripod set up already. And what I want to do, I'm going to swipe over until I get to my time lapse here. And when I'm in my time lapse view, Here's what we're seeing, right? The 1X is a little bit too wide right now. It's too busy of a scene. There's trees in the frame, and what's gonna happen is if I record the time lapse like this, this tree's gonna be moving, and I think it's gonna be too much of a distraction. So while I like this composition, I need to get past those trees. So I'm gonna click on my 2X here, and now we have a really clean composition. So what I wanna do is tilt up a little bit more. I wanna give some prominence to the sky as well using the rule of thirds, have that terminate right at the top third of the frame. Now we have perfectly lined up. We have our composition set up. I don't have to worry about focus. I don't have to worry about exposure. All that's taken care of. All you have to do, click that red button. And wait, of course. Let's talk for a minute about, well, how long do I need to stay here for, right? This is gonna be a common question that most people are gonna to wanna to know. The answer will vary. It depends on, well, how fast are these clouds moving? And how much time do we actually want to record in the process? So as a general rule, what I tell most people is simply record about 10 minutes. That's gonna cover you most of the time. And a nice bonus tip for you too, if you have an Apple Watch, you can simply say, hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Now, keep an eye on your phone, of course, where you can come back in 10 minutes, stop your shot, and you know you spent enough time to record that final video. So take a look at that final result. How cool of a final video is that? Now look at how that actually changed how we capture architecture. Typically, when we capture architecture, we're talking about a single image. That's a static moment in time. Everything opens up for us when we think outside the box and we consider utilizing the element and the magic of time itself as a compositional tool. And when we do, you walk away with something completely unique and interesting, such as we just showed you. This video was a free preview of the Urban iPhone Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to take stunning iPhone photos in a city environment. Whether you find yourself commuting to work or visiting a famous metropolis, you're gonna know exactly what to do to capture the unique character of that city. I'll show you how to photograph stunning skylines, unique architecture, busy streets, and of course, the people who make up the soul of the city. If you'd like to learn more about taking pictures in a city environment, please take a look at the full version of my Urban iPhone Photography course. You'll find that link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.